we need a formula that looks up these numbers, returns these names, so we get this result. <laughs> Normally, we would just use VLOOKUP. But if you have Office 365, we can use the new amazing XLOOKUP. And in the lookup array argument, we highlight all the numbers in the rectangular range. That tells XLOOKUP to deliver one answer for each one of those numbers, comma. Lookup array, well, I'm looking the numbers up there, comma. Return array. I want to return the names. The default is exact match, close parentheses. And because I have the new Excel calculation engine, when I hit Enter, it delivers the result. Now, that's a spilled array. You can see it's grayed out there. That formula only lives in that top cell. Now we want to stop and think about how much easier this formula is compared to how we used to have to do it. It's not that this formula is very much harder, but we would have to enter it, Control-Enter. Copy it over, copy it down. But with dynamic arrays and XLOOKUP, we just create the formula in one cell and hit Enter. Now here's our bonus formula. If you like VLOOKUP, you don't have to use XLOOKUP, because guess what? If you have the new Excel calculation engine, I put every single number there. So when I hit Enter, it spills. Now if you want to learn more about the amazing XLOOKUP function, check out this video. If you want to learn more about dynamic arrays, here's a great video.